This is an image of the supermassive black hole in the center of our galaxy, and it's called Sagittarius A star. Up until now, it's been hypothesized that what lurks at the heart of our galaxy is a supermassive black hole, but we've never seen it. This is the first visual evidence. We're resolving structure on the scale of the event horizon. We're looking at the very edge of this black hole, the edge of space and time itself. The Event Horizon Telescope is a network of radio telescopes spread all around the world and interconnected in such a way that you create a virtual telescope the size of the Earth. It's a very big project. There's over 350 people involved. This is from more than 60 different institutes in more than 20 different countries from almost every continent on Earth. So it's a truly international collaboration. The mission of this project is to image the direct vicinity of the event horizon of supermassive black holes. A black hole, as far as we understand it, is a region of space-time where gravity is so strong that a boundary called an event horizon forms. And that boundary defines the edge of the black hole. In this movie here, what you're seeing is how light moves around the black hole and how we make an image. And so if you fire a light ray at the black hole, uh, you see it's bent a little bit. Now, if you fire a light ray which passes a little bit closer, it's bent even more. It bends back on itself because the gravity of the black hole is just so strong that light itself is even bent. We can think of each of these light rays as like a pixel. Now, really, these are light rays at radio wavelengths, but you can collect these and you can create an image, and that's what the EHT does. This is the image of Sagittarius A star. What we're looking at here isn't a photograph, it's an actual reconstructed image. What we did was we took these eight radio telescopes which are spread all around the world, are all simultaneously pointed at this black hole recording this data. We stitched it together digitally on supercomputers and we reconstructed this image that you see here. We see a darker region in the center, that's where the black hole actually resides, but we see a very bright ring with some blobs in it. The stuff that you see which is brighter is actually hotter, it corresponds to hotter material. This is the second black hole that we've ever imaged. Back in 2019, three years ago now, we actually showed the world the first image of a black hole. This was the image of the supermassive black hole in the galaxy M87. There are two major challenges that were unique to this particular image, which we didn't have to deal with with M87. It's why it took three years longer than expected. And the first was the fact that this black hole is actually a lot smaller. It's a thousand times smaller in mass, roughly. That means that things are happening very, very quickly, a thousand times faster. So you're trying to resolve stuff that's happening on a time scale of seconds to minutes rather than hours to weeks. The second problem that we had to overcome was that we're in the plane of the galaxy. We've got to look through all of that matter, dust, gas, stars, and so on, to, to the heart of the galaxy. It's very blurry, it refracts and diffracts light. You have to mitigate those effects and effectively subtract them in order to get this image that we obtained. So it's moving really quickly and it's really blurry along the line of sight. That took a long time too. One of the things that really surprised us about this image, again, like with the last one, is just how remarkably similar it is to Einstein's predictions of what we should see. The ring size, its shape, its thickness are incredibly consistent with the theory of general relativity, which is truly remarkable. What we've been doing from the theoretical side is performing lots and lots of simulations of what is actually happening there using Einstein's theory. So what we're seeing here in this movie is the actual matter around the black hole circulating and slowly moving inwards. So you see as it gets closer to the event horizon, which is this region here, this is where the black hole is and you see blobs of matter slowly moving inwards sometimes, like here, and it starts to move in and it fades from view. That's because it becomes gravitationally redshifted until to the point where you can't see it anymore and it crosses the event horizon. The black hole is captured forever and this ring is actually light that's emitted by all of this plasma around the black hole that orbits the black hole multiple times before it reaches us because the gravity is just so strong that light itself moves on uh, circular and spherical orbits. We performed over half a million different models and calculations of what this black hole could actually look like. And almost all of them were ruled out by the data. We threw a lot of different tests and constraints at them. Few survived, and this is one of our, our best bet models. So that's what you're looking at here. This is what we think at the present time, our galactic center black hole would look like as it's feeding on matter. For us as scientists, I think this is actually extremely significant because this is our black hole at the center of our galaxy. Understanding this is intimately linked to the history of our galaxy, what's come before us, and perhaps where we're going in the future.